sin is the most unforgivable. Thank you, George, and welcome to our audience. Today, our judge will be Dr. Nate, the author of that best-selling book, How to Tell When Someone is Lying. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today, Dr. Nate. I'm sorry, Gabby, but you're lying. You're not happy to be here, you'd rather be at home, and you're not happy to see me. In fact, you think I'm a pompous windbag. Well, that much is true. But let's meet our contestants, shall we? George, who's our first contestant? Our first contestant is Joe Joy, a straight-A student at Poto Middle School. Joe spends his spare time helping out at the Elder Care Center, leads the Clean Up Our Town Committee, and is president of the after-school club at his church. Welcome, Joe. Thanks, Gabby. Our second contestant is Jenny Jones. Jenny is an average student at Poto Middle School who spends her spare time trying out for the track team. Welcome, Jenny. I guess you must know Joe, since you're at the same school. Um, well, a little. I'm sorry, Jenny, but you're lying. Dr. Nate, how about we let our contestants speak, and then you can do your judging. And our final contestant is Richard Smudge, a straight D student at Poto <laughs> Middle School, who spends his spare time stealing spare change from people who walk by. Hey, you can't prove that. <laughs> Welcome to you all. Now, let's begin our contest. First, we will have the voting round, where the audience decides whose sin is most likely to be the most unforgivable. Then you will all tell your stories, and then Dr. Nate will decide whose sin is the most unforgivable. Audience, based on what you know about these people, who do you vote for? <laughs> all right, what's your story? Well, I didn't steal anything, but I saw a guy drop $10, and I wanted it for myself. That's pretty bad. And not the whole truth. All right, what's your story, Jenny? Um, okay, so, my mom told me to clean my room, and I told her that she was being unfair and yelled at the face. Then I went to go see her. Being disrespectful and disobedient is pretty serious stuff. And not quite the whole truth. All right, Joe, what could you have possibly done? Well, I didn't study on a test, so I cheated on the test. The girl next to me had all the answers, so I copied her. The teacher asked us why we both had the same answers. I told her uh, she was copying me. Of course she believed me. So the girl got an F on her test, and she got grounded for a month. I'm sure that isn't the truth. But it is. <laughs> All right, I guess you win then. Gabby, you said the sins had to be unforgivable. Yes. Well, that night he got his parents, his, his the girl's parents, and the teacher, and told them all what had happened. And then he asked God for forgiveness. Therefore, he was forgiven as well. Well, I guess Jenny wins then. <laughs> Not quite. After Jenny had cooled down and she went back to her house and apologized to her mom, cleaned her room, and as asked God for forgiveness. So she was forgiven too. Well then, Richard, you're our winner. Richard, tell him the whole story. Okay, okay. I didn't take the I didn't keep the ten dollars. I wanted to, but I didn't. Are you telling me we don't have a winner? Because we can't have a game show without a winner. Well, as long as people are willing to ask God for forgiveness and change their ways, there is no sin too great to be unforgiven. Thanks so much for your help, Dr. Nate. You're lying again, Gabby. Oh, fine. You've destroyed my show with your truth telling, and I'm not glad that I met you. Hmm, truth telling, or to tell the truth. Now there's a game show idea.